In this episode, we're going to take you step-by-step step through the process of configuring VRRP on MicroTik routers. We'll show you how to set up two routers that work together to create a redundant default gateway for your network, ensuring that even if one router fails, the other takes over instantly without disrupting your services. VRRP, Virtual Router Redundancy Protocol, is a network protocol that ensures the availability of a default gateway for devices in a LAN. It is designed to increase the reliability of the network by automatically assigning responsibility for a virtual router gateway to one of the physical routers in a group. Let's get started with the step-by-step -step configuration. We begin with the basic configuration of the router. Set up the first router identity for easy identification. We are calling this router Router01. Create a bridge and name the bridge, in our case, Bridge LAN. Add LAN ports to the bridge, the interfaces that you want to act as LAN ports. Assign a private IP address to the bridge, different from the default gateway. Set up DHCP server on the bridge. Make sure that the default gateway is not pointing to the bridge address, but instead to 10.194.6.1. Since it is the VRRP virtual IP address, that is the default gateway for all client in the network. Now configure VRRP for this router. Go to Interfaces and the VRRP pane. As interface, select Bridge LAN. The VRID must be the same on both routers. We set it to 50. We set priority to 250, indicating that this router will be master primary. We can leave the other parameters as they are for now. Assign a private IP address to the VRRP specifically the default gateway configured with the DHCP. Because the routers are not exchanging VRRP advertisements over the network yet, both routers will have their VRRP state running and master. Let's test the configuration. Let's move the PC to an interface that is part of the bridge of the router 01. We can see that the PC received an IP address. We can also verify that the IP address has been issued by the router 01 by checking the least DHCP addresses.
Now that we successfully configure router 01, let's move to the second router. Set the router identity. Create a bridge and name the bridge. Add LAN ports to the bridge, the interfaces that you want to act as LAN ports. Assign a private IP address to the bridge other than the default gateway and the IP you assign to Router 1's bridge. Set up DHCP server on the bridge. Make sure that the default gateway is not pointing to the bridge address, but instead to 10.194.6.1. Now configure VRRP for this router. Go to Interfaces and the VRRP pane. As interface select bridge LAN, VRRP should be the same as the router 01, so 50. We leave priority to 100, indicating that this router will be the backup. Assign a private IP address to the VRRP, specifically the default gateway configured with the DHCP. Let's test the configuration. We can see that the PC received an IP address. Now let's configure the switch. Same thing for the routers, we set the identity of the switch. Create a bridge and name the bridge.
Add LAN ports to the bridge. The interfaces that you want to act as LAN ports. Now that we have the network working, let's check the status of the VRRP on both router. Router01 is running in master, as expected. Router02 now is in backup mode. It is because the routers are exchanging VRRP advertisements now. The master, the router with the higher priority, periodically sends VRRP advertisements to inform the backup routers that it is active. If these advertisements stop, indicating the master router has failed, the backup router will become the new master and will takes over the virtual IP address, allowing traffic to continue flowing without interruption. Let's test the VRP. We are going to disconnect router01 from the switch to see if router02 will take over. As we can see, now router02 changed from backup to primary. The network is still working as expected because router took over and started handling traffic. When we connect back router 01 on the network, router 02 will automatically switch back to backup mode. Router 01, with the higher priority, will become the master. It is because, in our configuration, preemption mode was active. This ensures that the router with the highest priority becomes the master, if it is available. While this basic configuration ensures redundancy, R2 remains completely idle during the backup state, which may be seen as a waste of valuable resources. To optimize efficiency, R2 can be configured as the gateway for certain clients, allowing both routers to share the network load. Thank you for watching. In our next video, we'll dive even deeper into the VRRP setup. This time, we'll configure VRRP on multiple VLANs within the network and show you how to set up load distribution between routers for optimal performance. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss it. See you in the next episode.